Mastermind is a BBC quiz show where contestants answer questions about their specialist subjects. On Monday night's episode, Darren Ross, a senior hardware engineer, selected the PDC World Arts Championship as his specialist subject. Let's take a look at the questions he was asked and see how many you can get right at home. We're also going to take a look at some further facts about the questions and make sure to keep track of how many you get right as I'll reveal how many he got right at the end. Who won the first ever PDC World Championship at the Circus Tavern in Perfleet in 1994, beating Phil Taylor six sets to one in the final? Dennis Priestley. Priestley won the 1994 edition, which was known as the WDC Skull World Arts Championship. This doubled his world title tally, with his first coming in the 1991 BDO tournament, where he beat Phil Taylor, the reigning champion in the quarters, and whitewashed Eric Bristow in the final. Following his PDC win over Taylor, he was beaten by the power in the final in four of the next six years. Since 2013, the winner of the championship has been awarded a trophy named after which popular commentator who died the previous year? Sid Waddell. Waddell was a legendary commentator who was excellent on the mic. Before his death, the trophy was fairly small, with a globe on a small platform. It was later renamed after him, and the trophy was redesigned to its current version. Phil Taylor was the first player to win this version, and he said that it was extra special to be the first man to lift it due to this reason. Taylor said that he still smiles when he thinks about some of the lines Sid used to come out with. The 2022 champion received £500,000 in prize money. What much lesser sum was awarded to the champion at the first tournament in 1994? £16,000. The increase in prize money in the history of the event has been huge, with the total prize fund passing £100,000 in 1999, £1 million in 2010, one and a half million in 2016 and being raised to the current level of two and a half million in 2019. Eddie Hearn, the PDC chairman, has stated that he wants the winner's share to hit one million pounds during his reign. In the 2015 tournament, John Michael became the first player from which country to appear at the championship but lost to Ian White in the first round? Greece. Players from over 40 different countries have played at the PDC World Championship. At the last edition of the tournament, Vladislav Omachenko became the first Ukrainian to feature in the event. John Michael has now appeared at Ali Pali four times, but is yet to make it past the first round. English players have been the most successful at the World Championship, followed by those from the Netherlands and Scotland. John Parr is still the only non-European winner and he was the first non-UK winner of both the BDO and PDC world titles. In 2018, in the last match of his professional career, Phil Taylor became the oldest finalist in the championship's history at what age? 57. Taylor holds this record, as well as the record for being the oldest world champion, which he achieved in 2013 at age 52. In the year after that win, Van Gerwen became the PDC's youngest world champion at 24. Who became the first player to achieve two nine-dart finishes at the championship when he recorded his second in a last 32 match against Brendan Dolan at the 2010 event? Raymond Van Barneveld. Barney hit the first nine in both the Premier League and World Championship. Following this achievement, he hit another nine data in both of these events, as well as one at the World Match Play. He earned £50,000 just from hitting nine darters during his career. At the 2006 Championship, the top seed was eliminated in the first knockout round for only the second time in the tournament's history, when the world number one, Colin Lloyd, lost to which unseeded player? Gary Welding. Lloyd was 2-0 up but Welding won three straight sets to defeat the then World Match Play champion. The first time that the top seed fell at the first hurdle. The first time that the top seed fell at the first knockout hurdle 
was in 2001 when Peter Manley lost to Jamie Harvey, also by a scoreline of 3-2. In addition to his 14 titles, Phil Taylor lost five finals, three of which against John Park, Raymond Van Barneveld and Gary Anderson were lost by what scoreline in sets? 7-6 Taylor beat Kevin Painter in a sudden death set and has been involved in every final to go the distance. The final hasn't gone to a last set since 2015 where Gary Anderson won his first title. In December 2019, Fallon Sherrick made history by becoming the first woman to win a match against a man at the championship when she beat which player in the first round? Ted Everts. What often gets forgotten is that just two days before this win, Mikuri Suzuki came very close to being the first player, but she was beaten in a deciding leg by James Richardson. She recovered from 2-0 down to force a deciding set, but Richardson hit tops in the last leg while she was sat on double 18. In the semi-final of the 2013 championship against James Wade, Michael Van Gerwen almost became the first player to achieve a 9 dart finish in two consecutive legs, but missed which double of the final dart. Double 12 Every time I watch this back, I still hope that the double went in. Will we ever see a player get a shot for this again? Who knows? Which referee, who announced his retirement in 2013, officiated in 15 of the first 20 PDC World Championship Finals, a total which remains to this day the most appearances of any referee. Bruce Spendley Spendley retired following his 15th final in 2013. During this tournament, he was able to call his 9th and final televised 9 data, which was thrown by Dean Winstanley, who famously celebrated by running off the stage. In the third round of the 2022 tournament, the defending champion, Gerwin Price, narrowly survived a sudden death deciding leg against which Belgian player? Kim Hybretz. Ahead of this game, Price didn't have the best record against Kim, losing in half of their 10 meetings. In the 2023 tournament, the defending champion, Peter Wright was beaten in the third round, coincidentally by Kim Hybrex. How many of these questions did you get right? The guy on the show got 10, with his only wrong answers being getting Taylor's age wrong by 10 years and saying Dimitri Vandenberg for the final question.